I always do. Like I said, it's on and popping right now. We have a very, very uh, special guest in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kid Wire. How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? It's been a minute. Three yeah. years. It's, it was, it, was that? That's how long you were since the last time you were here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, okay. I haven't, no, no. So the last time I did an interview with you guys was exactly three years ago. About okay. Two, about two or three weeks oh, okay. earlier. Because okay. I left the house around September 23rd. Oh, okay. And unfortunately, it's early this time. <laughs> but the last time I was in Nigeria has been two years. Okay. Two plus years. I see. So what's going on? How, how are you? I'm good. I'm feeling great, man. I'm, okay. I'm happy to be out and stuff. And <laughs> Why? It seems like your vibe was really, you know, just weird and awkward this time. When you're in there, you're just mostly chill. This time around, yeah. Um, this time around, I was, I was, I was scheming. Okay, I was, I was Stay conniving. Me. I was, I was, uh, I was trying to play the game. I was being a politician. I was campaigning and stuff. Yeah. Um, but the last week, I, I took a little step back, um, just to sort of like understand these characters more and look at them from a distance. So maybe in the last week, I was more quieter. But the week before, when we did the little pardon me yeah. thing, I was mm-hmm. out there shaking hands. <laughs> Kissing babies, trying, shaking yeah, hands. trying to close deals and stuff. So. Okay, I feel okay, that. all right. Yeah. So all you right. said that you took a step back to observe the characters. I want to hear from your own perspective. What did you observe? Um, well, I observed that everybody else is also scheming and everybody else is also playing, playing a, 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 a deep game. I observe cult groups, not not in the sense of you know that word, but I like to use that word. So I, I observe cult groups and little pockets of. Um, resistance yes exactly exactly <laughs> and uh i realized who um let's say the community leaders were okay. or the, the people people looked up to yeah in in, in the house so taking a step back just helped me to really Game get a good peripheral view of of the house in general because amongst all that chaos you've got to remove yourself at times to sort mm-hmm. of sit back mm-hmm. and stuff like that and also protect your mental peace. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So, and I also noticed this one, there were no um, active relationships from your end. I remember the last one, you know, you, you and Erica had something about this one. You're just, you know, largely just on your own. Because you had your is... girlfriend outside the house, right? Oh, yeah. you do? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, how's yeah, that yeah. relationship Ooh. going? That was, I mean, <laughs> I know what you're going to ask. <laughs> no, it's going well. We're solid, man. It's, yeah. it's going well. Obviously, okay. um, in any normal relationship, there's issues here and there, but I mean, I'm kid wire, man. What, what can go wrong? <laughs> I like the confidence, but you already know. I got to ask what I got to ask. Yeah. She unfollowed you recently on Instagram. What's that about? Yeah, don't worry. She gonna follow, she'll follow me back. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I, I think it's just, you know, it's just because she's not used to the game. Big Brother is crazy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, 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 it's a crazy world. It's a crazy platform. It's a crazy game. And, and, and it, you need to understand the things you do to sort of get a get ahead so she didn't yeah. understand some certain things um but in time she will and she'll you know she'll come around yeah she's in london right she's in london. okay so i'm sure you like you'll be able to break it down i can just explain I, to i'm already her looking everything. for hermes back <laughs> <laughs> i love that oh there's I'll a nice place the Birkin. yeah exactly. down on uzuma by the way a little pricey though but i'm sure they'll be able to hook you up it's kid wire yeah so so I mean, it, yeah, please go ahead. So, I mean, you you mentioned earlier on that when you took a step back, you're able to look at the house whole, wholly. Yeah, you're able to look at and identify the different characters in the house. Now, I do want to ask you. You mentioned noticing that there were certain leaders. Who were those leaders? And then to take it a step further, your observations upon coming out of the house were they pretty much on par with what you were seeing as regards to social media? and how people are kind of like flocking behind the different people that are in the house? So I like the question, but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to go too much into names because I realize that um, a lot of things I can say can influence what happens in the house. And I don't want to sort of bring people up, bring people down. Okay. But I would say um, the Pepperdem have, which is the, I think now there's seven of them. So yeah. I would say before the, the new ones came in, there, there were a strong group you could look at them as a, a leadership group based on because their season was before a lot of other people's and right. the age group and the strong personalities there so i would say they're they're also quite strong um and coming out the house now it does look a bit different because obviously in the house we don't see the stuff you guys see but in the house you know that's a strong group out the house i honestly think everyone is strong in their individual way they all make up this madness this beautiful chaos you know what i mean so yeah. they're all strong in their own ways coming out the house and watching it from a fan's point of view 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, basically, a lot of people, uh, you know, thought that, you know, you, um, Shay, a bunch of guys, you know, were ganging up against uh, Baye. Uh, what do you want to say about that, though? I mean, I think everyone kind of knows <laughs> how it is now. Yeah. Um, they, they, they know I haven't been ganging up. Okay. That's when now you go, you go explain tire. So <laughs> I know I'm even tired of explaining <laughs> this stuff, man. But people know my character. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't gang up, and especially mm. in, in 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 that kind of way. I know. Um, so I just want to yeah. ask one more thing, though. So I've come to understand. I did sociology in university. I've come to understand that you know, uh, the uh, the basis of society or any society is interactions, constant interactions. So uh, and Big Brother is you know one huge fantastic social experiment. And you know when you go into the house, like yeah, there's 120 million, and I'm like, okay, I think this is what I'm going to do to be able to win that money. So it's, I'm 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 going to show this part of my character or I'm going to show I'm going to portray myself as a lover boy or whatever so why is it that when people go into the house people you know the viewers tend to forget that you know everybody's playing the game towards trying to win the money and when they, whatever character that they see they tend to ascribe it to that's who they are forgetting right. that people are playing the game towards trying to win the money so I had this conversation with, with a booker yesterday right and I said this platform has outsmarted or gone further than the public. Big Brother is in the future and the public are still living in the past. Yeah. They know that this so Big Brother know it's a game. That's why Biggie said on the rule book, there's no embargo um, there's no embargoes and conspiracy. Yeah. Mm. Which means you're supposed to play the game. You're supposed to be conniving. You're supposed to be Plot to scheme. plotting, scheming. But the public don't understand that. When they when they see you plotting and scheming, they think it's that's your character. That's who you are. Right. So this is why I say Big Brother is so far ahead then it's viewership, then it's community, mm-hmm. and it's basically waiting for these guys to catch up. To catch up. But right. the problem is, Big Brother is not going to sit there and wait for people to catch up because it needs to move into the future. Mm-hmm. So really, that's that's a question down to the public. If you guys are ready to step up to where Big Brother's at, then I'm that's where they're at. If you're not ready to do that, then this will be a continuing thing. It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll be easy to, to, to pick out the winners okay. in the next however years because yeah. it'll have that same similar story whether it's pity or you're bullying this person or this one has a, a great story or whatever it's going to be the same across board so right. that's 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 that's, your how, perspective. that's my perspective on it yeah so why did you decide to go back into the house obviously like you mentioned you were here three three years ago three yeah. years and two you've years. not been in nigeria no, you've not been in nigeria, nigeria like two world, years right yeah. you've yeah, already years. built a brand for yourself um I, we were talking off air about the thing that you did for help the homeless yeah which was impeccable but Thank you. why did you decide to go back into the house because you know what going back into the house if you did badly or poorly you could say you could have risked it all so why what made you because i don't think well i don't know but what not made you? What motivated you going back into the house? I owed it to the to the public, to my fans, to be honest with you. Um, that's where they first noticed me and that's where they first fell in love with me. So who am I to say no to giving them that joy again? Um, so once uh, Dineo called me, and shout out to Dineo, she's the um, main producer on it. And, 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 and when she called me and said, kid, you know what we're doing, an all-star season, we'll love you back. I was like, yes, straight away, because I love her so much. Mm-hmm. I love Nigeria so much. And I love the people of Nigeria, especially mm-hmm. my fans. And I know this show to them means a lot. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was an easy decision to come back and entertain and remind people, um, you know, who, who could wire is and, and to let them know that I'm, I'm, I'm not gone. I'm still here and mm-hmm. I will forever be here in your heart. So... That's kind of why I came back. With better dance moves. <laughs> Do you know what? I think you've gone better. I, I, no. Actually, everyone I said yeah. that, I've actually yeah. gotten better now. You've got and a little two-step now. I'm starting to flow with the beat now. I'm yeah. starting to enjoy yeah. this. Well, thank God you didn't do the Rema thing. Though. That would have been atrocious, man. The Rema one, the calm down that one. one. Yeah, I think I'll the, play this song, so maybe no, you can just do it. It wasn't calm down. No, 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 it wasn't calm um, down. I'm sorry. It was that um, song? Charm? Charm, yeah, the charm, charm. one, the, yeah. The, 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 you know what? It, it seems so simple, but I don't know why. It's Maybe hard. It's See, I'm, I'm, it's hard. I'm like a block. It's, but not. it's not. It's not easy. It's not easy. But uh, shout out Rema, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's amazing. So, an, an amazing song. So, anyways, now that you're out of the house right now, so um, anything that you've been working on, uh, what should we uh, look forward to expect? So, I'm going to do this thing where, I, I know it's a bit boring, but I'm not going to yeah. talk too much on that because I've got a lot of th- stuff coming. But one thing I've learned is that whenever you speak things into the world there's always forces or people trying to prey on that downfall mm-hmm. so um, um i like to surprise people um there's going to be a one very 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 surprising thing which i'm hoping to um show the public i, I think this month if not very early so that's going to be awesome and of course you guys know already kid w and co is is is, is already out there in uk and it's going to be coming to nigeria soon and of course my foundations you know what well, two foundations? Um, well, three actually. The Kid Wire Foundation, um, which does a lot of sponsorships with um, Space Foundation, the Space Water Foundation, 
and uh, GIPLC, which looks after kids with severe disabilities. So if they need heart surgery, if they need, if they've got tumors that needs to be removed, we um, respond to those trips that are abroad. Um, oh, wow. Definitely go on to Kidwire Foundation on my page and check out the two um, tags on the bio and you can look more into what we sponsor and what we do. But definitely, the, the, um, you'll be seeing a lot of that. And the thing is, right, I, I've been doing this for a very, very long time, but I don't actually talk about it, the foundation side. So a lot of people think um, I don't do that. But it's only recently that I've said, you know what, I'm going to start pushing that out mm. more. But I've been, I've been investing into these things for a very, very long time. But it's only now I'm saying, all right, guys, here's what I'm doing. You can yeah. now follow that journey. So, yeah. Look out more for the foundational stuff. And you need to stuff. put it out there. Let the people know. Let yeah, the people yeah, know yeah. what you're getting up to. Uh, before we let you go, the last question that I want to ask you, and I know that you <laughs> you might feel the type of way, but I'm just going to ask you. Go ahead. Man. Who you are you rooting for to win? Um, You know, I'm, I'm rooting for all of them to do well. The most important thing is just just, just have fun. And the do, politician is no, back. Have, have fun, have fun. Because the thing is... But who know, do you like, though? I told... Um, so, who do I like? Who do yeah. I like? Who do who I like? Who do you like, like, want to win? Who's your guy that if he won or she won, you'd be like, yeah, I'm happy about that. You know, Cece's my girl. Okay. Oh. I, have, I have a new, amazing love for that pit bull. I call her my little pit bull. <laughs> 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 um, but honestly, I want all of them to come out and be happy okay. and, to, and, and to just be grateful because everything that happens now is a bonus. So that's mm-hmm. the most important thing. Be happy, guys. All Good right. Good luck to all of you. All right. So uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And also make sure that you can check us out on YouTube. That's youtube.com forward slash the beats. 999 FM to actually see the full form of this interview, uh, you know, uh, pretty soon. 917 right now. Yes, Rema. <laughs> so hoping that Kidwire gives us a little dance step or two to this one. This mouth is very tight. <laughs> <laughs> but very tight, honestly. I, I wore it for a reason. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's called charm. Enjoy.